Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the third meeting of the Honolulu Liquor Commission. Um, for people in the gallery and also online, please bear with us. We have a different lineup and an acting, acting chair. So please be patient with us as we go through the proceedings. Um, we have some minutes, but why don't we defer the minutes to the next hearing day, Ms. Harai, and move directly into the public hearing. We're calling application number 21-22805 from New Bangkok. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, members of the commission. Keith Yuchi on behalf of the applicant. My right is Ratchani, R-A-T-C-H-A-N-E-E, Sinkowski, S-E-N-C-K, O-W-S-K-I. I have no additions or corrections to the investigator's report from the preliminary hearing, but if you recall, uh, we have an outside area. My client's committed to closing that early, like at 9, 9 p.m., because uh, there are housing across the street. So that would be the only comment I would Thank you, Ms. Wright. Uh, thank you, Vice Chair and Commissioners. This application has received zero written protests, zero letters in support. Applicant has met statutory requirements for the submission of this application. And for the record, a summary of the May 26th preliminary hearing testimony was provided to Commissioner Buckley prior to the public hearing. Kiyuchi, just to clarify, I, I was going to ask questions uh, to confirm what's the timing when your client's going to shut down that outdoor portion? Uh, nine o'clock. Okay. And yeah, I do know the there's commission some... wants an early time. We, we can entertain that. I think that's fine. And I, I know there's some uh, condominiums, yes. I think elderly housing across the street. Correct? Elderly housing is further down the street, um, not that far away. There's a new housing complex right across the street. And that's part of what we're being sensitive to. Um, one of the reasons she wanted to open the outside area is kind of unusual because that outside area is actually a landlord's property. Kind of, it's strange because it's part of the sidewalk, so it's a landlord's property. But the inside of this is very small. This used to be, at one point, there was some food service coming out of there, but the uh, it, it is a very small space. But uh, my client's pretty committed to closing at 9 o'clock to accommodate the neighbors. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, any other questions, commissioners, or type of action? Is going to be to approve application number 21-22805. I'll second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Uh, I also vote aye, motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just so you know, I've got 26 and 27. I'm going to go back to my office and appear virtually since there's such a gap. So. All right. You're, you're giving me credit for my handicap as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, license, uh, special license application number 22-25066 from Free Spirits LLC. Good afternoon, commissioners and chair. Matthew Choi, manager of Free Spirits, LLC. We have no changes to the investigative report. Uh, screen, which one? I don't actually have the guy online. Okay. So, what we, um, Mr. Choi, we're going to take a short break. Um, Commissioner um, Hollinger's screen appears to be acting up. So okay. Bear with us. Progress. Okay, we're back on the record and I'll call the matter again. This is application number 22-25066 from Free Spirits. Um, go ahead and introduce, and sorry, introduce yourself again, Mr. Choi. Uh, good afternoon, commissioners and chairs. Matthew Choi, manager of Free Spirits, LLC. We have no changes to the investigative report. Okay, can you walk us through the event? This is a Kona Nui Nights. Uh, Kona Nui Nights is a celebration of Hawaiian music and culture. It's at War Gateway Park, um, and it features one or two Hawaiian or, um, musicians and sometimes a hula halau. Held events there in the past? Correct. Um, Pre-COVID, we were doing this monthly. Uh, we just had the first one post-COVID a couple of months ago. Have you, I, I recall Christmas lights. Is that your organization? No, not with us, but they did do a light garden and um, some other activities in that space as well. Okay. 
Um, any other questions, commissioners? If not, um, I entertain a motion. Um, just one comment. Um, so I know you have uh, August 10, 2022, and October 5th, 2022. Um, October is pretty far out. Um, if something happens and that date somehow changes or gets canceled, can you please let the commission know of that? Um, if this license is to get um, approved, only because if something, if you don't have something going on there and something happens, you know, be liable for the space. Okay. Okay. At, there's a change of date. It will have to come before you because this is a, a special license application that's been published uh, on a public notice. So if there's a change of date, fortunately, we have lots of time that we can just bring uh, the applicant back before the commission to register that change of date. Thank you for the charge. My uh, motion will be to approve application number 22-25066. Second. Then a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also approve the application. The motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Troy. We'll move on to special license application number 22-25076 from Free Spirits LLC. Good afternoon, commissioners and chair. Matthew Troy, manager, Free Spirits LLC. We have no changes to the investigative report. And um, this is at the Museum of Art, Mr. Troy? Yes, this is at the Honolulu Museum of Art. Can you walk us through this event, please? Uh, this event is modeled after the Taste of Honolulu. So it's going to be a food event that features different food vendors in each courtyard and wine and cocktail pairings to go along with those food vendors. Uh, it's limited to members of the museum only and ticket sales are capped at a thousand. Uh, you mentioned in your report that you don't anticipate minors attending this event, but there is a chance that could happen. Are there any safeguards to ensure that minors aren't consuming alcohol on premise? Um, yes. Yeah. So the museum, there are members that are under um, 21 or sometimes they accompany their parents. The museum has a very extensive security team that makes sure that all the guests that are drinking have bans. Uh, we do use clear plastic cups so we can identify what's in the drinks really easily and we work with them so they know what our beverage program is. Um, we also have additional security that checks IDs and bans the guests in the front before they enter. Motion is going to be to approve application number 22-25076. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. I also approve the application. The motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Troy, and good luck. Thank you. Okay, calling special license application number 23-00014 from Cools and Catering by Sinoblan. Good afternoon, board members. My name is Sam Alero, general manager for Cools and Catering by Sinoblan. Mr. Alero, I know you folks have um, hosted or conducted events here before. Um, what is this particular banquet event? So for this one, August uh, August 5th, it is a banquet for um, some dignitaries from Tonga. They are bringing, um, I guess- so Lira, hold on one second. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, we're having some technical difficulties and uh, commissioner. Go ahead, Mr. Lira. Okay. So there, uh, it's an event, it's a banquet event uh, hosting dignitaries from Tonga. They are celebrating um, their princess coming down. And it's, like I said, it's just a banquet with um, a lot of attendees. I was looking at this application relative to the other two, yeah, Mr. Lero, and it looks like you folks are accepting script for um, beer, wine, liquor, juice, and the other two, but it's blank for this application. Uh, what kind of um, payment are you folks accepting? Correct. We'll be 
accepting cash and credit card payments. Thank you. Commissioner? It will be to approve application number 23-00014. Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. I also vote aye. Motion carries. Uh, let's move on to special license application number 23-00015 from Pools and Catering by Cineblani. Mr. Alero, please introduce yourself again. Good afternoon, board members. My name is Sam Alero, General Manager for Cools and Catering by Sinublan. Commissioners, any questions or type of action? This application is for a birthday party, correct? Uh, this one should be for a graduation party, August 27. My motion is going to be to approve application number 23-00015. Second. Ooh, it's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 I also vote aye. Motion carries. Um, let's move to special ap license application number 23-00016. Go ahead, Mr. Lero. Good afternoon, board members. My name is Sam Lero. General Manager for Cools and Catering by Sinublan. There's any type of action? It will be to approve application number 23-00016. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor, please say aye. I also vote aye after the motion carries. Application is approved. Uh, good luck, Mr. Leo. Thank you. Thank you, board members. Have a good day. Let's call special license application number 23-00075 from Kahala Senior Living Community. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, members of the commission. Mr. Rai, Robert Uyoko on behalf of Kahala Nui. Um, I'd like to waive the presence, request to waive the presence of my client. He was traveling. Mr. Craig Courts, the Chief Executive Officer, he is unable to appear. Please respectfully request to waive his presence in this matter. And you have authorization to uh, respond to our questions on I, behalf of the applicant. I, I do have authorization. Yes, yes Mr. Rioka. This is for a special nonprofit license for August 1st to November 28th. Um, we did file a club liquor license. So we wanted to be able to serve alcohol in the interim. Thank you. Commissioners? Motion is going to be to approve application number 23-00075. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor, please say aye. 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 I also vote aye. Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Yoko. Thank you so much. Okay, let's move on to the preliminary hearing. We have application number 22-23690 from JNJ Investment Group, LLC. Mr. Chairman, may the record reflect Wayne Luke as the attorney and authorized agent for my board number eight. Uh, we have no changes in investigators' reports. Other than there was a clarification of whether he was convicted of a felony or not. And I submitted a paper which is back in the 1990s. It was just a misdemeanor. Since then, he has been on six liquor licenses. Okay. And it has been covered. Okay. And for the record, the commissioners did receive a document that I'll just describe a heading called case detail 98HM02113 that we received. Thank you, Mr. Luke. And we'll make sure this is part of the record for this matter. Thank you. Um, commissioners, any questions for Mr. Luke? Add a type of action, please. Yeah. 
Second. Been moved and seconded. All in favor, please say aye. I also vote aye. Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Luke. Thank you. And into temporary license applications, calling application number 22-24851 from One Team Restaurant, AMC LLC. Good afternoon, Commission. There's Chair uh, Keith Suzuka uh, representing One Team. Wahlberger's application to a license. We've reviewed the licensing investigative report and have no comments, but we would be able to answer any questions you may have. Okay, Mr. Suzuki, you're coming in a little bit glitchy on our end. I think I heard you make a reference to your appearance. There's a gentleman named Max Lee also online. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Max Lee is on the line with me. He is the uh, sole member of the applicant. And I heard you say that you have nothing further to add to the licensing report. Did I hear that correctly? That's correct. Okay, thank you. Commissioners, any questions or type of action? Joe B to approve application number 22-251. Second. It's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Okay. I also vote aye. Motion carries. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay, let's move on to temporary license application number 22-24930 from Steve's Chicks, Inc. Good afternoon, commissioners. I'm Min Young Woo on behalf of Steve's Chicks, Inc. Doing business at Steve's Chicks, Inc. And also, um, so the manager, Benjamin, uh, Lee, Benjamin Lee. Manager of Steve Chicks, and to my right is uh, Sun Jung Sin, uh, owner of the Steve Chicks. Okay, and Ms. Wood, there's a Mr. Lee and a Ms. Sin in the gallery. Yes. So, so. Okay. Uh, Benjamin Lee is a manager, and then Su Jung Shin is a president. Okay, thank you. And no corrections necessary for the investigative report. Okay, thank you. Commissioners, any questions or type of action? Would be to approve application number 22-2439. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. I also vote aye. Motion carries. The application is approved. Thank you, Ms. Wu. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Ms. Chen. Thank you, commissioners. All right, let's move on to temporary license application number 22-25045 from Kelly O'Neill's LLC. To my right is John Langham. He's the member and owner of the premises that are working in Fife Wayne, Wisconsin. There are no changes to the investigative report. Mm -hmm. your client's last name, please. L A N G A N. Langham. Thank you. Commissioners, any questions for Mr. Luke or his client or type of action? Sorry, type of action. Would be to approve application number 22-2504. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. May I make a comment uh, regarding number eight? Mr. Daniel Lim has just appeared and he's sitting in the back room. Okay. Uh, unrelated to this matter, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Lug. I also vote aye. The motion carries. Application is approved. Uh, thank you, Mr. Lug. Thank, Thank you for you. introducing your other client. Thank you. To a cater license application number 23-00025 from 
HSI Honolulu Joint Venture Company. Happy, Mr. Chair, members of the commission. Ms. Uriah, Robert Wheel on behalf of HSI Honolulu Joint Venture Company doing business as HMS Host. Present to my right, Mr. Christopher Cado Hero. He is the Senior Director of Operations at HMS, HMS Host. His first name is C H R I S T O P H E R, last name K A D O H I R O. Um, just to extend existing catering license for the new Malco terminal, we do have a pending restaurant liquor license for the Malco Marketplace, which is located nearby in the terminal. Yeah, we, we've approved similar applications in the past, right? Yes. And any incidents or any concerns? No incidents. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Commissioners, any questions for Mr. Uyoka or his client or type of action? Approve application number 23-0025. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. Motion carries. Application is approved. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Good luck. We on to cater license application number 23-00069 from the Bankers Club. Hello, commissioners. My name is Myra Kirby. I'm with the Bankers Club. I'm the vice president and man, uh, restaurant manager. And we have no changes to the investigated report. Okay, thank you, Ms. Kirby. Did you want to introduce the gentleman and woman with you? I'm sorry, we have the head of our marketing department at First Hawaiian Bank, Bill Wiesoff, and we have the catering events manager, um, Tessa Forner. Okay, and I apologize for doing this, but we're hearing an echo. Could you spell the names of the people with you, Ms. Kirby? Oh, um, William, W-I-L-L-I-A-M, and Wiesoff, W-E-E-S-H-O-F-F. -E and Tessa, T-E-S-S-A, Foreigner, F-O-U-R-I-E-R. -E okay. Um, thank you, Ms. Kirby. Could you walk us through the event that you are proposing to cater off premises? Uh, this will be, happen on Monday, July 25th at the Bishop Museum. Uh, we would like to, uh, we are, this party is for our employees, it's an appreciation party, and it's for a uh, thousand people, a thousand employees, no more than that. We're expecting about 800. Okay, thank you. Any uh, further questions, commissioners, or type of action? Question would be to approve application number 23-00069. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. I also vote aye. The motion carry application is approved. Good luck, uh, everyone. Thank you very much. You. Welcome. Um, moving on to the next cater license application number 23-00090 from Craft Beer Company, LLC. Good afternoon, commissioners. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm the general manager of Craft Beer Company, LLC. We've been seeing you almost every week. Um, how are things going? They're going very well. Uh, the uh, luau that we're working with uh, changes their mind often on when they want to have the uh, events. And so now they want to have them on Fridays instead of Tuesdays. So that's why we've uh, reapplied for those days. Okay. Any other questions or type of action, Commissioner? Well, I spoke to um, Investigator Sato, and he said I should request to see if I could get a refund for the Tuesday events that we applied for and then apply it for Friday. I, we've already paid for the Friday events, but I didn't know if that was a possibility or not. I believe you have to um, do that on another agenda. Ms. Wright, please correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I'll do that. Yes, if, if you like uh, separately uh, submit that request so we can put it on the agenda for action. I certainly will. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so my motion will be to approve application number 23-00090. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Taylor, and good luck. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too.
Okay, we're going to um, call next uh, tour cruise vessel license application number 22 24229. Sorry, from Moana Sailing Company. Chair, it's Naomi Cole on behalf of the applicant. Present to my right is owner, Mr. Jonathan Hernandez. Oh, John Hernandez. Sorry. Um, we review the investigative report and then we just have to make one small correction. It is on page two. The size of the vessel should be actually uh, 55 feet by 30, not 42 by 30. Thank you. We have no other further changes. Commissioners, any questions or type of action? Only question I have is when people get off, if there is an issue where they're unable to drive, you guys talked about in that Tuvalu piece of the parts or something like that. So we recommend that all of our customers don't drive. Yeah. We want the So that's something that we hope all of our customers drive. Sure. Uh, but then, as far as the cars go, we have permits that would allow up to five vehicles to park. Um, and if I can elaborate, Mr. Hernandez, I think the in, implied concern is um, to make sure that any of your customers, um, if they're inebriated or have overconsumption issues, that they get home or to a hotel safely. So that's yes. the concern. And so please do your best to ensure that you know, someone who you believe to be inebriated gets into an Uber or somebody else drives. Thank you. Number 22-24229. Second. It's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Thank you. I also vote aye. The motion carries. Uh, good luck, Mr. Hernandez. Thank you. Thank you. The other business, um, calling request number 23-00082 from Robert A. Uloka. The chair members of the commission, Mr. Rai Robert Uyoka on behalf of Foodland Food Pantry and Pacific oh. Suites. Also present via Zoom is Mr. Peter Hamasaki. He's the vice president and general counsel, first name P E T E R, last name H A M A S A K I. This involves a request for a waiver of the need to submit background materials. These office and directors are on multiple entities, on all three entities, and we did provide, already provide background materials for the last, in the last three years. And these officers and directors have not been convicted of felony. Uh, Mr. Helen, I'm sorry, Commissioner Helen, do you have a disclosure? Yes. So, um, Mr. Chair, I'll be making a disclosure that the IOWU does represent the employees at the food and supermarkets. Um, I am their direct employee representative. Uh, this will not affect my ability to be impartial in deciding on this matter. Thank you. Um, any questions, Commissioners, for Mr. Uyoka? to approve request number 23-0008. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. Motion carries. The request is approved. Thank you, Mr. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Hamasaki. Thank you. Moving on to request number 23-00097 from Ryan K. Hugh. Sorry about that. Uh, good afternoon, Chair, Commissioners, and staff. Uh, this is Ryan Hugh on behalf of the applicant, Nana Aikatsu LLC. And this is a request for the waiver of Rule 3 82 32.1A, which is requiring a temporary license application to be filed within five working days of cancellation or closure. Uh, only comment from me is the landlord has indicated that the the prior occupant basically kind of got up and left and is not in communication. So it's kind of where we're at in terms of my client occupying the uh, space now. So uh, that's why there isn't a transfer and that's why I request for the waiver. Okay. Not sure if I understood what you're saying, but- um, Oh. Uh, are, you, are you aware of the prior tenant still um, having access to the site? Uh, they don't have access. They basic, basically, my understanding from the landlord is they 
basically breached their lease or early terminated their lease. Okay, and Minister, I point of order, do we have records to show the current licensee, the status of the license? Um, our records currently show that El Mexicano uh, license expired June 30. Okay, but this year. 2022. Uh, sorry, June 30th this year. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Commissioners, any other questions or type of action? Excuse me, sorry. Motion be to approve request number 23 0007. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. I also vote aye. The motion carries. The request is approved. Thank you, Mr. Zhu. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Commissioners, can we get a type of action on the findings of fact and decision and orders? My motion would be to approve, uh, to adopt the finding of fact and decision and order. Oh, inclusion of lots in order for agenda item number eight. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. I also vote aye. The motion is approved. Um, agenda is 18 and 19. Um, the findings of fact, decision, and orders are approved. Uh, let's move on to the adjudication hearings. Um, Mr. Jacob. Good afternoon, Acting Chair, Commissioners. Daniel Jacob, Deputy Corporation Counsel on behalf of the City and County of Honolulu. Okay. okay. Okay, um, why don't we take a short break? Um, we'll reconvene in about five, 10 minutes. Okay. We're back on the record. Thank you everyone for your patience with us. Um, why don't we move into adjudication starting with agenda item number 20. This is Sasaya USA Inc. Commissioners Naomi Cole, on behalf of the licensee, present to my right is the general manager, Mr. Akia Kawano. We waive the reading of the charges and the no contest is an approved. Second. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. The please accepted. Um, this violation occurred on July 31st, 2020, when the licensee failed to obtain approval from the commission in writing within 30 days of a change of 25% or more of uh, ownership and outstanding stock. The Liquor Commission received notice on May 5th, 2021 of an effective date of transfer of July 1st, 2020. This is licensee's first time violation. The recommended fine is $500. A letter dated July 11th explaining what had happened. Um, so essentially, what happened was there's a chart there for you. This is on page two. I'm sorry, the, Ms. Cole, I don't mean to interrupt you, but we don't have that. And a copy to be provided to the commission. Do you um, want us to see the letter or the chart you're describing? Um, no, it's fine. I think it's explain it. It's just basically the 100% uh, shareholder was Mr. Uh, Hosoy. And then the whatever what change was the parent corporation? It changed from Sasaya Co Limited to Sasaya Holdings Co Limited. We initially thought it was just a name change, but later discovered that it was actually a merger that happened. So it was actually a, an entity change. But the alternate shareholder, uh, Mr. Hosoi, didn't change. So um, that's what happened. It was just a merger, um, and they didn't know that that would trigger a stock transfer. But as soon as we found out, we submitted the uh, application for stock transfer on March 2020, uh, 2021. And um, that triggered the violation to take place. And the stock transfer was approved by the commission a year later. Uh, entertain a motion to issue a letter of reprimand for agenda item 20 or any other action you folks deem appropriate. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. A letter of reprimand will be issued for agenda 20. Thank you, Ms. Cole. Thank you so much, Commissioners, for your generosity. We really appreciate it. Colleen, agenda item number 21. Um, 
UMP Inc. Could you be back, Alan Cafe? Uh, Chair, I've had conversations with the licensee's attorney, Guy Matsunaga. He's requested a continuance until August 25th. I have no objection. Mr. Jacob, what's the reason for the continuance? I note that this is continued twice. Yes, my understanding is he still is in the process of receiving the file. We agreed to one last continuance, and I would expect that we, uh, myself or my peer, Tom, would be objecting to an objection. Continuance on August 25th, if you were to request one. And um, Ms. Harai, I noticed there's several more with the same licensee. If the request to continue is the same, can we just continue all of them without the motion procedure? Uh, if you would um, identify for each of those matters the LCV number to, to keep the record completely clear, you would be able to dispose of it in a single motion. Okay. Um, Mr. Jacob, could you um, make representations on the other matters involving Back Alley Cafe, starting with number 23? Yes, um, my understanding is that we have uh, five LCV numbers, LCV 21-0202, LCV 21-0215, LCV 21-0226, LCV 22-0028, and LCV 22-0060. In all these cases, um, licensee's attorney has requested a continuance to review investigative files. August, 20th, August 25th, I have no objection. Jacob. Um, commissioners, I will entertain a motion to continue Agenda 21 for LCV 21-2002, number 22 for LCV 21-0215, Agenda 23 for LCV 21-0226, Agenda 24 for LCV 22-0028. And then 25 for LCB 22-0060. And again, to be continued to August 25, 2022. Yeah. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. These matters will be continued. Thank you. To agenda item 26. I'm wondering if Mr. Cucci made it back to his office. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, members of the commission, Keith Kiyuchi for the licensee. <clears throat> we would waive reading of the charge, uh, deny the charge, ask to be set for a contested hearing. Okay, um, Mr. Kiyuchi, you made the motion. So I entertain a motion to continue agenda 26 to the next available hearing date for a contested hearing. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. The matter will be available hearing date for a contested matter. Mr. Kiyuchi, do you want us to read the, or explain to you the commissioner's procedures for contested hearing? No, that's not necessary. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Jacob? Oh, wait. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to agenda item 27. Again, good afternoon, Mr. Chair, members of the commission, Keith Kiyuchi for the licensee. Uh, we also waive reading of the charge in this one and in our general denial. Just a little quicker than me, Mr. Kiyuchi. I'm not on my game yet. So this is for Kabul Enterprises, Inc., DBA, the chart house. Right. We have your appearance in denial on the record. So yes. I'll entertain a motion to set agenda item 27 or continue agenda item 27 for contested hearing at the next available hearing date. Then a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. So vote aye. The matter is going to be continued to the next available hearing date for a contested hearing. And again, Mr. Kiyuchi, you do not need us to uh, explain to you again our procedures for the contested hearing. No, I do not. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacob. Uh, no, thank God. Wait, thank okay. you. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's move on to agenda item 28. This is TC Kahala LLC, DBA the counter. Good afternoon, uh, Chair, members of the commission, Newton Chu on behalf of the licensee. 
Um, we hereby waive reading the charge and plead no contest. Is there a motion and a second? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Also, but aye, the no contest plea is accepted. Um, yes, uh, this violation occurred on February 16, 2021, when licensee made phys physical alterations by removing the interior doors and alteration of a reception area without commission approval. This is a first violation. The recommended fine is $500. I can't. Did you? Did anybody say something? I didn't hear anything. Yeah, Commissioner uh, Hollinger asked if you want to make any comment. Oh yes, that. yes. I didn't. I didn't hear anything. So thank you. Yes, I would like to uh, just speak to this charge. Uh, the licensee is a, a local sole proprietor who took over this franchise uh, restaurant in the Kahala Mall during COVID. Uh, it was during the transfer process that we learned that the drawings that we were provided, which showed that there were no kitchen doors, was part of a re remodel back in 2013 that even the uh, transferor uh, was unaware that they did not file for a request. There was also a slight modification to the entrance where there's a little hostess stand, but there was no increase or decrease in the licensed premises at all. So it was really... Um, during the transfer process that we learned of that. So I know the charge reads that we made alterations in 2021, but it in fact, uh, we inherited a restaurant that had ma previously made um, changes that were not run through the commission. Um, we, um, as soon as we learned of that, we filed whatever requests we had to. And we know that the rules say that the transferee takes it subject to uh, whatever violations existed on, at the site, but um, truly uh, the licensee in this case, um, the sole proprietor is an uh, innocent party to this. And we uh, ask that you uh, consider that he did not do anything intentional to uh, violate the rules. He's aware of the rules that you need to ask permission so that in the future, should he choose to make any uh, changes or renovations to the property, he will indeed ask for permission. So um, I would ask if you could issue perhaps a letter of recommend, uh, reprimand um, that would be respectfully requested at this time. Thank you. Okay, so my motion will be to um, issue a letter of reprimand for item number 28. There's been a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. Uh, for item 28, a letter of reprimand that will be issued. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Moving on to agenda item 29, Dixie Q Inc. DBA Dixie Grill. Tina Wary, T I N A W A R. Before you do that, do you waive reading of the charge, Ms. Wayne? Motion to accept the fee. Second. Is there a motion and a second? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Also, would aye. The motion carries the no contest, please accept it. Yeah, this violation occurred on January 4th, 2021, when licensee failed to obtain approval from the commission in writing within 30 days of any change in ownership of 25% or more of the stock or any change in ownership resulting in the transferee becoming the owner of 25% or more of the outstanding stock. This is licensee's first violation. The recommended fine is $500. In um, my explanation is that Ed passed away on December 5th, and I have a lot to deal with um, and did not even think that I needed to do a transfer of the ownership. So in lieu of the $500, I'd like to ask for a letter of reprimand. My motion will be to issue a letter of reprimand for agenda item number 25. And a second, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. A letter of reprimand will be issued for agenda item 29. Agenda item 30, 
Putadaya Global Works Corporation, DBA minus T. Hi, uh, good afternoon. This is um, Sachika Kurihara. It's uh, S A C H I K A. Last name is K U R I H A R A. Um, I am an attorney and an authorized agent on behalf of the licensee Imana Stay. Um, regarding the violation, we plead no, no contest. Ms. Kurihara, do you also waive reading of the charge? Uh, excuse me? Do you waive the reading of the charge? Uh, yes. No contest, please. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. No contest, please accept it. This violation occurred on January 6, 2021, when licensee failed to obtain approval from the commission in writing within 30 days of any change in ownership of 25% or more of the stock or any change in ownership resulting in the transfer becoming the owner of 25% or more of the outstanding stock. This is licensee's first violation. The recommended fine is $500. Do you have um, any comments or explanation? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, this was actually, there was a miscommunication between our office, our attorneys and a licensee. And as soon as we learned that they hadn't obtained approval from the commission within 30 days of the stock transfer, we filed a stock transfer application. Um, unfortunately, it was about uh, seven months after the translation took place. Uh, in the future, the licensee will surely request for approval without delay. Is going to approve the recommended fine of $500. Okay. motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. The recommended fine is approved for agenda 30. Ms. Kuriara. Thank you. Colleen, agenda item 31 at LAN LLC. DB. Good afternoon, my name is John Blatt, J-O-H-N-B-L-A-T-T. -T. I'm the owner of, of Atlan LLC, doing business as in between. On or about February 25th, 2021, in the city and county of Honolulu, state of Hawaii, licensing made physical alterations within its license premises to wit preparation of the premises interior for renovation without the prior written approval of the liquor commission in violation of rule 3-83-62 sub A of the rules of the liquor commission of the city and county of Honolulu. Excuse me if I pronounce wrong, Mr. Black? Yeah. How would you like to plead? I will plead no contest with hopefully with an explanation at least. Okay. <laughs> Throw myself on your mercy. Yes, um, um, we have to make a motion to finish that and then I'll okay. give you your chance to um, Explanation. So I need a, a motion to accept the plea. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, so would I have uh, no contest, please accept it. Your recommendation. This is licensee's first violation. The recommended fine is $500. Okay. Well, so you can explain. Okay. Uh, basically, I have been in this business a long time and I was aware that notification to you folks was required for any sort of alteration. What happened here was we had closed during a good period of time for the pandemic. Just before we reopened, I said, oh, let's make some changes in light of precautionary kind of things. So we were basically going to remove a table, uh, several tables, which kind of pushed everybody together. Right. My establishment is only 500 square feet. So Basically, we're trying to make a little more room for people to be able to separate more and open a window that was existing that had been there since well before I uh, took over, but the window had been covered over. So we uncovered it so that could be opened again to add uh, increase uh, circulation and the like. Unfortunately, somehow that evolved into doing a little bit more in the way of renovations 
And it was basically just a, a slight repositioning of one end of the bar to allow an excess, um, extra access for the, for the bartenders to come from behind the bar because we only had one at the very back of the room, the one at one towards the front because we also extended with permission from the books, extended to serve outside the small area. So I wanted the bartender to be able to get out there in case of any problems or whatever else uh, quickly. So in other words, we did the renovations. We did a little more than I had initially thought. I didn't think we needed permission to remove the tables. And we did, uh, and again, the we didn't reposition the bar or anything. We just basically shortened it a little bit and put in a swinging gate. So at that point, we became aware that that this was a violation of deed and, and got clients approved by the inspector who came by and looked at it. So that's what we did. So <laughs> Mr. Jacob, do you have um, a factual basis for the second? Um, my understanding is what we just reported. Okay. Thank you. So my motion is going to be to issue an order with affirmative agenda item number three. Is there a motion and a second? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye a letter of reprimand will be issued for agenda item three. Thank you very much for your consideration. Appreciate it. I mean, agenda item 32, John Tehun Shin, CBA Kamamalu Mate. I will uh, represent to the commission that we did receive a letter indicating that they are willing to plead no contest to this matter. And they are aware that uh, there is a recommended fine. However, um, th there is no agreement um, by my myself to um, a particular fine. So at this point, I believe that the commission would like the letter. Um, I submit that. Yes, we'll um, entertain that letter, Mr. Jacob. And for the commission's record, this uh, violation was discovered on February 10th, 2021, where the licensee made physical alterations, extension of a counter, a toilet, addition of an interior wall, and a walk-in cooler without commission approval. It's a first-time violation, so the recommended fine is $500. Thank you. Thank you. Thank for the record, Mr. Jacob handed the commissioners a letter uh, appears to be signed by John Shin, who's accepting um, this as a no contest to the charge, but without stating or specifying a fine. Is that correct? Right. I'll entertain a motion to accept the no contest plea per the agreement of the licensee and approve the recommended fine of $500. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also would aye. The motion carries. The no contest plea is accepted and the fine of $500 will, will be imposed for agenda item 32. 33, Grace Lee, DBA Waikiki Beach Market. I'm a long time no seeing person. <laughs> uh, I haven't done this before. Introduce yourself and your client. <laughs> uh, James Lee representing uh, Grace Lee, DBA, Waikiki Beach Market. Uh, seated to my right is uh, Mrs. Lee, Grace Lee, last name L E. We plan to enter no contest with an explanation. And do you waive reading of the charge, Mr. Lee? Yes, we do. Thank you. Motion to accept the no contest, please. So move. Uh, second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. I also vote aye. The no contest, please accept it. This violation occurred on January 15, 2021, when the licensee acquired liquor from an entity other than a licensed wholesaler. This is licensee's first violation. The recommended fine is $500. 
Well, explanation, it's not an excuse in any way, so don't take it wrong. It was during the uh, pandemic period and the, uh, the delivery was very infre infrequent, especially for small deliveries. And you know, the, uh, the neighborhood patrons in YTT area, I guess they were looking for certain bottles and she didn't have any. So she went and took you know, accommodate, catered to the neighborhood patrons. She went to CVS and bought some liquors and they know that it's not right. And they got an earful from me because, especially because they and I, the Mr. And Mrs. Lee and I, we go to the same church. <laughs> so uh, I, I can vouch for them that it will never happen again. And they're very sorry for what happened. And Ms. Lee, I know it sounds like an innocent mistake, but we do have rules. You have to follow all of our rules. And this happens to be an expensive uh, mistake. Will be to approve the recommended fine of five hundred dollars for agenda item number. motion and second. All in favor, please say aye. I also vote aye. The recommended fine of five hundred dollars is approved. Thank you, Mr. Yun. Thank you very much. Let's say hi to the rest of the commissioners over there. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Colleen, agenda item 34, I chill Corp DBA Frog House Restaurant. Frog House. You're here for Frog House Restaurant, ma'am? Yes, um, I'm, I'm, my name is Jeannie B. from Frog House. Um, uh, um, Spell your name for our court reporter, please. B E J E A N N I A, as in B as in boy, A as in apple, E A E. Thank you. I'll, rep I'll represent to the commission that this case originally had two charges. Charge one was already adjudicated, so we're here for charge two. I will read charge two now. On or about December 5th, 2020, at 20, 20, 30 hours in the city and county of Honolulu, state of Hawaii, licensee failed to have a street and or primary entrances to the licensed premises unlocked during the time customers were on the premises in violation of Rule 3-84-72.2 of the Rules of the Liquor Commission of the city and county of Honolulu. How would you like to plead to charge two? Motion to accept the plea. Second. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye, but please accept it. This is licensee's first violation. The recommended fine is five hundred dollars. Any explanation? Thirty-four, charge number two. There's been a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. The motion carries for agenda item thirty-four, charge number two. The recommended fine of five hundred dollars. Thank you. 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 Thank Chair, I'll represent uh, the commission that after a thorough review of this case, I will ask the commission to dismiss these charges. I understand the commission may have some questions. I'd be happy to entertain those questions before you all made any motions. Yes, um, Mr. Jacob, um, I'm sorry, you, you're requesting that this be withdrawn? Yes. Okay. You need to get into your deliberations yourself. Um, but what I want to verify is, um, whether or not you sought a second opinion or advice from a supervisor or another deputy corporation counsel in reaching that decision? Yes, my, the way my office works is there's been a few of us in the office that have a lot of experience with the Liquor Commission. So I certainly ran this by my peers. In regards to my specific supervisors at Corporation Council, we're always instructed to work with the client and uh, the executive director of the commission and make sure that they're aware of any ideas or any suggestions we have in regards to this case. In this case, I did 
let your executive director know that I thought it was best to dismiss these charges. I'd be happy to discuss those reasons with you. Um, I'd be happy to go over what the initial charge was and give you a brief summary. Um, but yes, I, I did take all the appropriate steps that I was made aware of to uh, make this decision and report that and ask you all to dismiss it. Okay, and I don't need to get into the details and again, how you deliberated, Mr. Jacob. Um, I just want to confirm, and I think I've heard it, but confirm that you exercise your best professional judgment to seek a withdrawal of this charge and you sought input from your colleagues at court counsel. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. I will entertain a motion to approve the request to withdraw agenda 35. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I also vote aye. Agenda item 35 is withdrawn. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you all. Thank you. Agenda item number 36, Ms. Harai, anything to report? Uh, thank you, uh, Vice Premier Cheryl. I don't have anything to add uh, to the report I circulated earlier today in terms of things that occurred in the past week. Okay, thank you very much. Meeting adjourned.